Hello everyone. I'm out on my back porch and I'm going to uh, check in on uh, Jack and Jill is over here. But Jack and Jill are my oblong uh, worm bins that are um, actually, they're oblong planters. And I'll take a step back so that you can actually see that they are a planter. And there's just one small hole right down about dead center, a little off to the left. And if it gets too soupy or wet in there, then uh, liquids do come out. But for the most part, I, I run this uh, fairly dry. Anyway, I was here uh, three weeks ago, November 17th. And what I was showing you was that I was trying to do kind of like an easy harvesting uh, where I was just working from this end to try and harvest a little and feed over at this end so that the worms would make their way over. And so I've pretty much, um, I wanted to show you whenever I pull the, uh, pull the covers back, <laughs> pull the bubble wrap back that uh, the worms do um, seem to enjoy being in here and uh, being under this bubble wrap. Oops, I'm not getting the, the morning greeting that I normally do. I, I have already taken that blue one off and so I think the worms are already starting to uh, descend into their, their little holes. But you can see that they just love this bubble wrap. I usually have to come out and peel eight or ten of them off. And I'm going to just, oh, I see a, I see a cocoon also there. I don't know if you can see that. But I'll just take this little guy off. There he goes. All right. Oh, I see more on the other side, on the top side. Goodness. You can see all of these guys here. This is usually where I have to kind of come and the one day I found somebody had found, must have found a hole in it and the worm was actually tucked up in one of the bubbles. I had to very carefully try to cut it open and retrieve him, her. All right, come on. I'm not going to take all the time to do this. I always worry about them that they're going to fall and break their little tuchus. We don't want that. No worms with broken tuchuses. Or would that be a tuchai? I guess only if it was Latin. Anybody else take Latin in high school? I took three years of it and I I know absolutely nothing. There must have been a cute boy sitting in front of me. I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, there we go. All right, sorry about that. So we've got this. Ay, a little sticky. And I had a grape. This, I had grapes this morning and I threw one in. But um, I wanted to kind of peel this back. I've probably, over here, gotten uh, between two and three uh, coffee cans full. So probably uh, somewhere between six and ten pounds, depending on how, how heavy it was whenever we weighed it. And what I want to do is kind of fluff this one more time. See what maybe is still in here. That feels like a, an avocado, avocado. You can see the cocoon. I don't have gloves on this morning. I'm going to be a mess. If I didn't say it before, November 17th was when I was in here the last time. But you can see lots of worms. Um, it's 68 degrees out here this morning at now it was um 60 this morning oh i know what i did i gave them some some leaves i gave them 
leaves that we brought back from Williamsburg. You can see that. Uh, can you see that? It's a maple leaf. And uh, would have given it to them three plus weeks ago and they don't seem to have really done much to it other than maybe make it look a little thinner. But lots of uh, castings. And this looks like it's really ready to to harvest the castings. And with that in mind, what I really want to do is, um, oh yeah, oh, these are moist. These are moist castings. I'm working from behind the camera, so it make, always makes it a little difficult to make sure I don't bump the camera or the tripod or the the worms and I can do that in a minute but what I wanted to show you was how I'm going to set up the new section which was the old section so we're going to move this over give it a little schmear and these castings actually feel sticky so these worms have have used this a few times. Although the stickiness might be from the corn syrup that I've been giving them. And by syrup I mean, you know, all my, my cans of um, uh, fresh, of uh, canned corn, you know, uh, Green Giant canned uh, corn and, and Publix canned corn. We take the, the uh, juice that's left in there and we go ahead and uh, save that. And I've been coming out just to make sure that they stayed moist. I didn't want anybody to dry out. But um, I've been kind of drizzling it over them. So what I want to do uh, today is make a new uh, bedding for them. And uh, what I've done is I've taken my uh, shredded cardboard and I poured some rainwater over it. And then I just let it sit. And I did enough that, I mean, even squeezing it out, there's no real liquids here. So, um, let me just move you over a little smidge, and I'm going to actually dump this, because I want it to, if there's too much, there's a hole over here, and uh, if there's too much liquid, then, then that will... And so now let's start layering, layering it with food. Now, I have had two or three people tell me that I, that I spoil my worms and that they were worried that I wasn't going to give those worms something for Christmas. And so, I wanted you all to see this, that I made them a lovely little Christmas tree uh, on my corrugated cardboard out of strawberry tops. Don't you think that looks very festive? I do. So we're going to lay that down first over top of that. And to that, this is frozen still, so it's, it's going to be really mushy mushy. Uh, they're going to have a nice little, how are we going to do that? Oh, banana here, and a little here. We must be decorative, you know, and a little on the bottom. There we go. Now we're set. And on top of that, I'm going to add some, I'm going to kill my design. But the worms will know that their worm mama <laughs> will, has given them something for, uh, for Christmas. And this, by the way, was a pound. Exactly. I measured it out because I want both Jack and Jill to have about the same. There we go. And to that, I'm going to add another avocado that I've taken fruit 
uh, pulverized fruit powder and and add it liquid to it. Added some more rainwater to. Uh, actually, I added some uh, rice water to it. If you're making rice, if you're boiling your rice, and you soak it in water first, save your water because it is full of vitamin B. I'm going to add a little bit of oatmeal. Let's see what the worms do with that. It's water. It's not going anywhere. And it's... Um, non-chlorinated water so it's not going to hurt anything okay so that I'm sorry uh, this is um, oatmeal that I pulverized and I don't know if you can see the yellow in there there's a little bit of cornmeal also in that so that's a really good food for them uh, fatten up their little selves and then on top of that I'm going to add some eggshell because uh, worms don't have uh, they don't have a stomach. They don't have teeth. Poor little suckers. They're <laughs> they're out in the world all by themselves. So uh, it actually acts um, like a grit. Like if you took a, a two stones together and you had uh, you were trying to break something up, and you put them stone against stone and you rubbed it back and forth. Well, eventually that would break it up. So um, uh, for them, the eggshells act as the same thing. It gets into their um, into their um, crop, their gizzard, and then it, um, it it eventually breaks down. And of course, remember the the bacteria is getting into all these different things first, and the worms are actually kind of like they have they have like a little um, a top lip, if you will, and it's going over and and kind of like a, you know it's going after these these different things. So anyway, on that on that note, now that you really think I'm nuts, um, I'm going to put on some of these coffee filters that um, I'm just kind of layering this. I want to make this really um, pleasant, uh, a, a little paradise for the worms so that they can come to the um, uh, Peggy's Worm Motel and go, oh yes, that's that's delightful. We definitely want to go there. Let's let's book at that. It's like the Hotel Six. You know, don't we'll leave a light on, isn't that what the, the gentleman says? Um, and so now I'm just going to move this back over just a bit. I don't think I have anything else for them. I can't see anything else I have. Maybe I'll I'll take this avocado and kind of put it in there too so that we can see what one looks like that is half done and one that's to be done. Maybe we'll lay some of these leaves on top just to this is really this is really very wet I don't want the worms to although boy these they really do seem like some bigger boys than I'm used to let me dig down in here and see what I see what I can come up with I don't really get that many, I don't get worm balls, but then again, I don't really feed in a section. Definitely all wigglers I'm out of your, your sight, but I'm over here. A lot of worms. Uh, well, that's not a worm ball, but it's a worm cluster. And we'll put a few more leaves. This looked like it was a coffee filter also. Sorry I'm making this so long. Whoa. 
Oops. Hang on a sec. I want you to see how this is really... Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. This is really cakey. But I want you to see that you really... I mean, I've, this is about the only paper I'm finding. It's just real little scraps of my shredded paper. But most of it has already been um, digested and um, turned into soil, which is wonderful. So, um, except for that piece, I have no idea what the heck that was. And I'm seeing cocoons over here but um, other than just irritating the heck out of them oh I mean agitating the <laughs> I'm just going to lay this out it's like a really wet pudding that I have with no desire to taste I'm going to lay that back out, and I'm really not going to add anything uh, to this side because I want them to uh, dive down and then start working their way over here, and then over here, I think I'm just going to add... a bit more shred try and get the poop off my fingers I mean castings that's the word there we go all right and I'm gonna go ahead and leave that um, dry maybe just move a little bit of the these worms over on top of it Sorry this is so long. I didn't mean for it to be 16, 18 minutes. If you need to jump ahead, I would totally understand. Although I appreciate the people who actually stay. I'm still trying to get my hours, which don't seem to be going very far, very fast. So I'll probably be 100 before I'm ever monetized. And that's okay, <laughs> as long as I'm having a good time, and as long as my worms are happy. Um, in the next uh, video, I wanted to uh, cover how, because I'm hoping for, for 50 pounds. If I get 50 pounds of castings, then I want to do a an overall... Uh, fertilizing my whole yard. I think it'll take probably that that amount. There, I just wanted to rinse off my fingers. And then, of course, I'm going to put my trusty dusty cover back on and let me put it on the way it was. So we have casting side down. I wanted to check in here and see if I've got anybody. Nobody's hiding inside. Okay. Nobody's over here. Nobody's on there. So that's it. That was that was the total. You got the the total package here. And um, this bubble wrap is tremendous because not only does it keep them moist, but on cold nights um, we've been getting into. Uh, well, you know, it was down to 60 this morning. Uh, I think high I think it was 57 actually, and uh, we should be holding nicely for um, uh, for several days, and then we're going to go back down into the lower 50s. Uh, you know, red wigglers can handle that kind of range, uh, but um, it is nice to give them kind of a little cozy because they are out here. So anyway, um, I'll say. I thank you so much. I really appreciate those of you who stayed. And I hope you'll come back and see me again real soon. So from uh, Jack and me, uh, this will be it for him for uh, Christmas. And I hope you liked his tree. 
Uh, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.